Hello everyone, hello, Cesare here with more Final Fantasy XII. We are still within the Steel Sign of Miriam. We are currently, that looks like the way out. We want to go back in. Um, if you guys recall, we went through most of it and I uh, got a level up and now we are currently in, uh... Okay, everyone's got the weapon that they should have except Fran, but that's just because she doesn't have enough licenses for it yet. We're getting there soon though. So we just beat uh, Viniska, the boss that uh, lowers your character's uh, speed if you're wearing metallic gear, which wasn't that big of a deal, he's still kind of a pushover, kind of a weakling. We got Vector Slayer in chat, how you doing Vector, how's life on the Vector side of things? Man, with all the shit that I stole in here, we're gonna kick a lot of butt. Both here just leveled up, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta change his weapon. So Balthier, we're taking you back to the Gladius and to the Ice Shield, so. Now he'll actually be able to survive. This is kind of not the setup I was hoping to have going into Mattias. Or Mattias. Uh, into the next boss, but... Working as usual, but otherwise, alright. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you're alright, sir. That's definitely good to hear. Because right now, we are currently excellent. I... Did some work last night. I got in touch with a mortgage broker last night. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna use this. It's gonna teleport us back to that room. Hopefully there is no Nurgle mirror here. As I do not want to fight another one of those fucking things. On the bright side, we can now cast Cura, which will be good for keeping ourselves alive better. This fucking horse is back, damn it. that the uh, Miriam uh, dudes here aren't getting up. Uh, the statues? So I'm gonna fight these dudes and then the horse and I'm gonna run to that save point over there and just restore all my MP. Seems like the fastest way to do this. This thing is weak to holy, so we're not going to bother fighting it. There you go. Okay, it's back. Damn, Kira takes a lot more MP, though. Hopefully it heals for a lot more. Oh yeah, it does heal for a lot more to make up for it. I'm casting Blizzara because uh, I have the Glacial Staff equipped, so that'll do the most, uh, it'll do bonus damage because of that. I should have to steal from this thing, actually. 
Oh, that Dark Magic Slate. Alright, well, could be worse. This guy has another one of those uh, Grimoire Togale items, but I think his is different. Dead. And he dropped a pebble. Yay. That's what we always want. A pebble. Alright, so... I'm not gonna bother healing or anything like that. We're just gonna make our way through here, back over to the save point, where we are going to just heal up. Watch it turn into another crystal bug. That's gonna be kind of annoying. There we go. Saved. Okay, so with that in mind, we're gonna head back in, full MP'd. Uh, I'm probably gonna cast uh, a few spells before we go in there, uh, just uh, Shell, in particular. But as you can see, this sword here has now been raised up. And we can walk past it. I didn't even see these two here. Shit. Alright, well. I think they'll still take damage from both if somebody walks into the field, but that feel it, like it feels really inconsistent when that happens, so. I'd rather just not bother with it. I also kind of want to do this. Since she's going to primarily be our attacker, I'm going to throw the Dawn Shard on her. And hopefully that'll really help put, uh, make her tougher for this part. The words seem to have been left by King Wraithwell. Wisdom proven, proven, a say now your power. So it's basically saying, you've proven you have wisdom, now you got to fight. Proof how strong you are, fucker. Vector, do you ever have that happen at work where they're like, all right, you've proven how smart you are, now fight, and they throw you in like a Thunderdome type situation where you just gotta fight your way out? Ah, oh, shit. I quit so fast. It's Mattias! She's the corrupt, and I am gonna change my weapon because if I remember correctly. Uh this one will serve me better here. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. I just like wiped all of them out in a single hit. So Mattias the Corrupt... Well, I won't give any spoilers there for what Mattias is. Mattias is tough though. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with this boss. Uh, with a good reason too, like the... The spell attacks it has are pretty annoying. I'm 
unfortunately, um, I can't actually do too much damage to Mattias because I can't cast spells on it because like every boss in this fucking game it does reflect upon itself. You can see the mist in this room though. Which is kind of fascinating because in Final Fantasy XIV, um, primals in that uh, require a lot of uh, Lazaja, here it comes. Alright, so if you remember, Belial used Fireaja, which had an oil effect tied to it. This is a cool spell, though. And this has sap effect to it. Unfortunately, for her, it didn't do much damage. Alright, there we go. Wait, does Maddie still have a reflect? Oh, damn it. Still has reflect. Final oil status is literally broken in FF Tactics. I never noticed that. I never really used uh, oil in it, though. I used it a lot in this, but. That is a fun fact. It's kind of like how Blind was originally super broken in the original Final Fantasy uh, 6. Or 3. Hey, why fix today what you could just leave the way it was? And there we go! Our first boss, down. That shriek, though. That's right, Mattias was an Esper. So, I ask you guys, which one of our characters is going to get Mattias as a summon? Who would you like to see? It cannot be Penelope, though. Where'd you get that first? Mattias, the Corrupt. Uh, Penelo has Belias, that's it. We So one of the other five characters will get Mattias, it's up to you guys. Which, I gotta summon Belial and Mattias for you. Want me to do a random? One, one to five roll? Okay. Let's do that. Alright. It's gonna be Ash. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for when I do the next license board. I wish I had a function like that. If I could set that up, I totally would. You, where you guys could roll the dice. Alright, where is it? Bosses. Espers. Okay, so Mattius was an Esper. Scion of Darkness, ruling and protecting those who live in the Underworld, in opposition to Lahabrea, Abyssal Celebrant, and Scion of Light. In the course of his rule, he submitted to Avarice, and the darkness took in his heart, transforming him until he was both evil and corrupt. And, or, and corrupt. Then, in his cowardice, did he bind a goddess of Demesne of Ice. And using her as a living shield, he challenged the gods. Defeated before their might, he fell screaming into the depths of hell, there to be imprisoned for eternity. So, Mattius the Corrupt is the um, opposition of Lahabrea, Abyssal Celebrant, the Scion of Light. Now, in FF14, Lahabrea is the name of one of the 14 uh, Asian, uh, like the higher up Asians, uh, that you have to deal with. And yeah, so when he puts his little mask over his face, it's uh, the symbol of Lahab or, um, uh, Mattias the Corrupt. And you actually fight Mattias in FF14 in uh, Rubenaster. Yeah, Rubenaster. It's the first boss. It has frogs in the fight, so it's, it's kind of worth it. Alright, we don't need you having that equipped anymore, so we'll put the gold in back on you. Yeah. 
So yeah, Ash is going to use the weapon. So here we go, guys. We beat the boss. Yeah, FF14 and FF12 have a lot of ties to each other, which I really like. And I didn't re uh, readily um, tie them together until... I was playing uh, FF12, uh, the Zodiac Job Edition. Oh shit, you broke it, Ash. Come on. You should try it on the Dawn Shard. See if it can destroy Nethicide or not. What? He just may be onto something. The Dawn Shard's no use to us, after all. <clears throat> the stone bleeds mist. It has been roused. It fears the sword. disappears and then she swings again the stone is quiet <sighs> this is the sword the nethesite destroyer should it find its mark Vaughn tell me did you see him again I didn't Not a thing. Not even my brother. Not... not anything. Yep, it showed Rossler just to trick her into not killing it. You obtained the Sword of Kings. That's gonna be the first great sword we get, and it's gonna be the one that we use from here on. Now, I'm probably not going to do many more hunts in the game. There's one more I might do uh, on stream. And uh, it's just because there is a side quest I'd like to do later on. But uh, much it's going to be much later on, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, we get to get out of here. Get out of here. Let's equip Vaughn with the Glacier Staff, as that's the stronger. See, he can just, just outright equip it. It's only got 30 attack power, it's not even all that strong. But it does have a high evasion rate for a two-handed sword. I wonder if... Was there a teleport to, uh... Baron Omasis, or do I have to walk, walk back? I'm not concerned if I have to walk back. That's just a little bit of extra EXP for me. But... I love seeing the character, like, block with his staff. Having Kira definitely made Mattias more manageable, holy crap. They both dropped pebbles. I thought the... Alright, so I, I knew the monograds made it so that enemies drop pebbles. But... I thought it also made it so that they drop, uh... Uh, it wouldn't make it so they drop them so, so often. It's like every time I kill them lately, it's gonna make a pebble. Damn, you guys fucked these up. See, another pebble, what the hell? Do you guys want to walk up this hidden pathway again and, uh... 
and fight all the uh, oozes. These things are really easy, so I may as well just kill them while we're here, right? It's free XP, basically. There we go, finally got Earth Majesty and a pebble. They wanted to make sure I also got the pebble. Man, I'm gonna have so many items when I get back to uh, Baromasis. I think there was one. A strip of festering flesh. I wonder if we're gonna have uh, any new bizarre items, because that'd be cool. I told you guys that I already have uh, this. Check it out. Uh, if we go to Bosch, he's using the Sirius right now, which I think he's supposed to be using pulls. So we'll swap out that. I'll come over to his white weapon. But uh, I already got the well, I got the Beetlejuice, which is 23 attack power. So it's four attack power than it, stronger than the current gun he has. I don't have the license for it, but yeah, but I do have this, the Arcturus, uh, 45 attack power. Oh, Iron Pole puts slow on enemies when it hits, huh? That's fascinating. I need to get Fran uh, Ninja Swords, though. We already got one. Uh, that's her next weapon. It'll be good, because she can use a shield with it, too. I kind of wish you could dual wield uh, the Ninja Swords in this. That would have been cool, because I don't think you can dual wield in this, can you? Crooked thing. They obliterated it. Man, Fan and uh, Balthier are probably my strongest party members just consistently. Although Bosch is also really strong. Pinello is consistently my weakest party member, mostly because she got stuck with measures. don't need to be stealing at this point, but eh, every little bit of extra money helps, I think. Especially since I spent all my money on the new stuff we got in uh, Mount Bar Olmasis. Such a slut for uh, vanilla coke. Oh shit, what's going on? Hey, look! This happened last time we were at a uh, at a uh, tomb as well. Pretty neat designs for airships in this game, though. There. Smile. What could it mean? Well, we're definitely gonna save here because if for some reason I can't beat the next boss, we'll have to gain a level. Can. 
That's another rule I set for myself, is if I lose, I have to gain a level. On the bright side, though, we can come here and we can sell a bunch of shit. I thought the Imperial was gone. Yet just a moment ago, I heard screams from the temple. Are you sure you're quite prepared? How did you hear screams all the way down here? Something ain't right about that. Ice stone. One tanned high. 61 pebbles. 21 sturdy bones. 25 dark magicite. 10 ice magicite. Because it wasn't from the temple, it was from Wayne behind the boulder. Probably was. Hello, Soviet connection. Welcome. To FF12, where we struggle our way through. Can giant skin defeated. Blind wolf. Horn. Worm carapace. I didn't think I got that many worm carapaces. Well, that's right, Death's head. Apparently we killed Death. Or at least we found his head. One of the two. Oh, we did get a lot of stuff to sell. Holy crap. Okay, do Gemini Ashes. 14 Bomb Ashes. Yellow Liquid. A Sagittarius Gem. Oh, we got a... Where the fuck did we get a Scorpio Gem? Alright, whatever. New Bizarre Goods. Ooh. Ranger's Crossbow. Contains a cross... I right, fuck off. Well, we got better crossbow bolts for Ash, but I just got another crossbow. And another iron pole. Well. You know what? Just to spite you for selling me an item in a bazaar that I already had, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna sell this stupid crossbow that you just gave me. Alternative. How you doing, Soviet Connection? How is life treating you today? Do you got to work today? Alright. Let's head up the Sandstring Pass. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm glad you can come hang out with us, then. You know, hang on a sec. 